Hello, I'm Matthew Fool and welcome to another Core Focus video tutorial. In this video, we will be covering how you can connect your Dynamics 365 online environment to Power BI, as well as a quick start guide on Power BI and creating reports to get you up and running. First, we need to make sure we have Power BI downloaded. Using your favorite browser, head on over to the Power BI website, click on the downloads link, and then under Microsoft Power BI desktop, click download. This will prompt you to open the Microsoft Store where you can download the app. Before we begin using Power BI, we need to head over to Dynamics 365. Click on the cog in the top right corner and then click on Advanced Settings. Now using the Settings drop down, select Customizations and then click Developer Resources. We need to grab the instance Web API URL to connect to Power BI. Make sure you save a copy of this one. Now we can open Power BI. Here we can sign in with our Power BI account or we can click the X in the corner. Once we have a blank canvas, up in the data tab in the top left, click on the get data drop down and then click the more button. Here we'll be prompted with a list of all the various data connectors that Power BI can access, including Microsoft Excel, SQL services and Dynamics 365. Scroll down until you find it, give it a click and then click on connect. Here we need to enter the URL we gathered from Dynamics 365 earlier. Once pasted in, hit OK. Now we need to select how we're going to connect to the environment. Choose organizational account and then click the sign in button. Here we need to log in with the account that we use when accessing a Dynamics 365 environment. Once it says you're signed in, hit connect. Once connected, we'll be prompted with our list of entities. Expand the folder to see them all. In this video, I'm going to be creating a basic report with the accounts and opportunity entity. On the right, you can see a preview of all the fields available to us when using the accounts entity. You can see them again here when I select the Opportunities entity. We also have the ability to select related tables. For example, contacts are related to accounts, so that would be selected. We can either load all the data at once, or I can transform the data and select only a few columns that I'd like. Let's select just a few columns for the account entity. Here, Power BI opens the Power Query Editor which has many different features for you to be able to customize the data and bring it back in an easier to use format. I'm going to click on the accounts. And now you can see a list of all the account records that are in our Dynamics 365 environment. But there's a lot of columns and I don't necessarily want to report on all of these. So I'm going to head up to the choose columns, click on the drop down and click choose columns again. This is going to bring up a section where I can pick all the different columns I want to use. First, I'm going to untick select all and I'm just going to search for the name, the number and the account rating because these are the three that I really want to report. Once those have all been selected, I'm going to click OK. Here you can see my data has been filtered down into just three columns. Now there is a slight issue when important option sets from Dynamics 365. As you can see, the system values have been imported rather than the text values. Now I'm just going to use a quick and dirty method to change these over by just changing the data type to text and then replacing them with the correct value. I know these are going to be bronze, silver and gold. 
Stay tuned for another video where we'll discuss and show how you can import these values correctly. From our experience using Power BI, this is the only hiccup when importing data using Dynamics 365. To import these values properly, we will need to create an extra parameters table and then link that to the entity. Once we've replaced those values, we can head on over to the opportunities entity and make any changes we want there. Here we see a list of all the fields that make up the opportunity entity as well as all the data inside our Dynamics 365 environment. As you can see, the pick lists are still bringing back the number value rather than the text value that we would prefer to report on. I'm not quite sure what I want to report on using the opportunity entity, so I'm just going to click close and apply to bring back everything. Now Power BI will go away and gather all the information from the accounts and opportunities entity that we told it to, bring them back and place them in our Power BI environment. What's really great about this is that in the future we don't have to keep setting up extra connections, we can just hit the refresh button which will update all our reports with the new information from our Dynamics 365 environment. Once the queries are applied and we have a blank canvas, we're ready to begin creating our reports. Now we have our blank canvas, we can begin creating a report. First we're going to create a report using the accounts entity. Here you can see the three fields that we brought in and up here you can see all the different types of chart that Power BI offers us. I'm going to start with a pie chart just to make a quick chart to show us the rating of our customers. First I'm going to drag the account rating into the legend field and then I'm going to drag the account rating into the values field. As you can see this is quite similar to building a chart in Excel and here we can see all of the information that we have. We have our bronze, silver and gold accounts in there, five bronze, three silver and two gold. Over on the left hand side you can see that there's our various formatting settings. We can turn the legend on and off, customize the data colors. We can say what kind of detail we want on the label for the display units. So if I don't want it to show the 50%, I could just show the values. We can customize the text size. We can turn titles on and off. We can customize background color. There's really quite a lot of information there. Now I'm gonna rename the field just to give it a bit more clarity so instead of it being called account rating code I'm going to call it rating and these are the kind of small changes that will really make your report a lot easier to view and digest now I've got this one set up I'm going to head over to the opportunity and create one there now moving on to the opportunities what I'm going to want to see is who are my top customers so to do that, we're going to make a chart comparing the name and the estimated value. I think a bar chart is going to be the best one. So I'm going to select the stacked column chart in the visualizations menu. As you can see, there are a lot of fields for opportunities. So I'm just going to search for the name and then drag that one into the axis. And then I'm going to search for the estimated value and drag that one into the values. As you can see, super easy to make a chart. We can see AdventureWorks are our top customer. I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section below or email us at info at Don't forget to subscribe to be on the lookout for more videos.